Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Dr. Palanepan Manikam. I'm going to make a quick video on the vaccination program in India. Indian government has approved both Covaxin and Covishield as a part of the vaccination program. In this video, we're going to see how that is different from the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines approved here in US. What is the efficacy rate and how are they going to roll out their vaccination program? Let's dive deep into it. So before understanding Covaxin and Covishield vaccines, we need to know how mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna, how that works. So we have discussed how mRNA vaccines work in the past. If you want to have a detailed explanation, please look into the video in the link uh, given here. So I've seen all the YouTubers saying that the link will be put over here. I still have to figure out how to do that. If it is not, at least I know how to put in the description link, so check that out. So if this sounds too good, why can't we give this to the entire world, right? So there are three problems with this. Number one, these mRNA vaccines have to be stored at a very colder temperatures. Pfizer has to be stored at minus 70 degrees Celsius. This is colder than Antarctica. Now Antarctica la map la it is colder than Antarctica and uh, for Moderna it has to be stored at a regular freezer temperature so we cannot like transport in multiple quantities to different parts of the world. Number two is it is expensive. I'm pretty sure China is going to make an equivalent mRNA vaccine and put a label says very cheap and made in China. And the third main problem is long-term side effects. Even though I keep on saying there are no side effects, nobody really knows what are the real long-term side effects because we don't have data because it is a relatively new technology. I completely understand the point. But just remember that we are not giving any part of the virus at all. We are just giving the genetic material to code for the spike protein into the body so the likelihood of having any long-term side effects is like extremely low so what are the vaccines available in india so indian government have approved two vaccines one is the astrazeneca vaccine developed by oxford university in uk and is being produced by serum institute of india and the name is covishield the second vaccine is called covaxin and that is developed and made in india by a company called Bharat Biotech, which has been producing vaccines forever. Every Indian patient would have gotten some kind of vaccines from Bharat Biotech throughout their childhood. So like hepatitis B, polio and rabies vaccines, they are the ones who developed that. So Bharat Biotech is the WHO qualified polio vaccination supplier in India. But they've been doing this for a long time and everybody would have seen People putting polio drops to newborn babies. So what Indian government has said that we're going to officially vaccinate with Serum Institute of India developed AstraZeneca vaccine, like which is called Covishield in India first. And in the worst case scenario, if the numbers are so high that they run out of the vaccines, then they will use Covaxin developed by Bharat Biotech because the phase three trials for Bharat Biotech has not been completed yet. They just started in mid-November 2020. They just want to make sure that the side effects are not that much associated with Covaxin. So let's see the similarities and differences between these two vaccines, right? So the Covishield was developed by Oxford University, distributed through Serum Institute of India. And Covaxin is being developed by Bharat Biotech, made in India. So the similarity is both these kind of vaccines use some kind of virus technology. You remember I told you that in mRNA vaccines, there is no virus at all. But in these two vaccines, the mechanism of action involves some kind of technology associated with an actual virus. So let's see how AstraZeneca Covishield vaccine actually works. So as I said before, it also involves a virus technology. So they use adenovirus. Adenovirus is like a dead rubber virus. So they take this adenovirus and then inactivate it so that it becomes a dead rubber. What these guys have done is they take the adenovirus, inactivate it and genetically modify it in such a way that if we give this adenovirus into a patient's body, the patient's body will produce spike protein similar to coronavirus spike protein. Then the body will recognize, oh, this is a spike protein of coronavirus. Let's produce antibodies against this spike protein. So that when an actual virus comes into the body, we have enough antibodies to fight it off. So this is the logical explanation. So the most important thing is, where are they taking this adenovirus from? They are taking it from a stool specimen of a lab monitored chimpanzee. And once they take this adenovirus from the stool, they inactivate it, they genetically modify it, they give it to the body so that the body produces spike protein which in turn produces antibodies against the spike protein. 
just imagine the situation of the person who is collecting the stool specimen from chimpanzee chimpanzee paathu namma endha vambu thumukum poradilla na undu na en vela undu nu irukken appdi solittu dabbu ku eduthu varuvom so this technology is not something new we have used the same technology in malaria and ebola in the past as well ebola it didn't spread that much so we did not require a vaccine but this technology has been used in the past the biggest advantage of this technology and this vaccine is twofold number one it is extremely cheap and can be easily transported and the second it is 70% effective with two doses now let's come to covaxin which is being produced by bharat biotech which is a indian company and this is being approved by the indian government even before the phase 3 trials are out so there are some political issues surrounding this decision that it might be rushed even before the phase 3 trial personally i don't think it's a big deal because bharat biotech has been using this vaccine technology for a long time and i don't anticipate any kind of big side effects but they could have waited like two more weeks so that we can calm down all this uh, ambiguity remember our community is the only community who claps for doctors and also beat them up at the same time one of my friend in coimbatore got beaten up and his ear got bitten and the patient said happy new year so how does bharat biotech covaxin actually works this is a pure virus based technology so they take an actual piece of the virus they inactivate it and uh, almost kills it they dampen the effect of the virus and puts into the body and as soon as it is in our system our body thinks that oh there is a big corona virus sitting so we need to generate all the antibodies so we generate a lot of antibodies and fight against this tiny teeny virus so that we are safe from this virus infection at that time then because all these antibodies are just lying around we are in a better position to fight off any new infection down the road so all these antibodies are just in dormant phase and once this little virus strain comes inside the body it wakes up talava solra mari ashok nee thoongikittu iruka singatha thatti elupita and the madri da biggest advantage of both these vaccines is both or tried and tested technology especially bharat biotech co vaccine we have used it multiple vaccinations before polio hepatitis b rabies you name it and we have had multiple good long term data without any significant side effects at all so if you give me an option i think i'll choose our indian product bharat biotech because we have been exposed to this in the past it is similar to maniratna movies most of the time it is good all you need to do is to increase the brightness of the screen as of now they're going to give vaccination to 300 million people who are involved in healthcare first and the vaccine is going to be astrazeneca covi shield and only in the worst case scenario if the volume is not that much or if the case volume has gone significantly high then they will go to bharat biotech covaxin a uh, uh, big until the phase 3 results are completely out i'm very optimistic about the situation in india i know people who are residing outside india are very concerned about their friends relatives and family members back home because they are not able to travel due to covid-19 restrictions all you have to do is to request them to be at home until they get the vaccine this is going to be amazing one of my friend was asking me dr pal i will subscribe to your youtube channel can you send me one or two vaccines on the side and uh, என்னைய பார்த்தா ரயில்வே ஸ்டேஷன் கீழே கஞ்சா விற்கிற மாதிரி தான் இருக்குது மூணு பத்து மூணு பத்து மூணு பத்துட்டு த பிக்கஸ்ட் அட்வான்டேஜ் இந்தியா ஹேஸ் ஓவர் ஆல் தி அதர் கண்ட்ரீஸ் இஸ் தட் வி ஹவ் டன் திஸ் மேஸ் வேக்சினேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் மல்டிபிள் டைம்ஸ் இன் த பாஸ்ட் வி ஹவ் அ ப்ரோட்டோகால் ஐம் பிரிட்டி ஷோர் தட் இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு பி இன் அ வெரி குட் வே டு அ பாயிண்ட் தட் அதர் கண்ட்ரீஸ் வில் பி அமேஸ்ட் பை த வே தட் வி ஆர் டூயிங் இஃப் யூ ஹவ் லிசன்ட் த்ரூ தி என்டையர் வீடியோ அண்ட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஸ்டில் அவேக் யூ கெட் அ ஃப்ரீ கோவிட் நைன்டீன் வேக்சின் ஸ்டே சேஃப் ஐ வில் சி யூ இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் வீடியோ பாய்